Hello, my name is Salman and today we are going to be creating an app within five minutes without any coding or technical experience at all. So we're going to have an app like this. So you're able to click in, you can edit items, it will update and it will update for everyone. I can scroll through these items as well. I can search for an item, so I want a Jaguar. And as you can see here, I can search. Also, yeah, this is what it looks like inside of here. And it's pretty awesome. So I hope you all enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm in Excel. I have a simple table with name, age, and image. And as you can see, okay, I've got the types of animals I have. I have the ages of the animals and I have these links to images on Wikipedia. As you can see, I click a link and I have just a simple image. You can go to this one, I have a Jaguar. Okay, so it all links based on, okay, this is the age of my Jaguar, this is the image. It's very simple. The next step I need to do is highlight all the items in my Excel document, format this as a table, and I can choose anything. I'm going to choose blue. If you're in the desktop version of Excel, it will prompt you perhaps to ask if you have headers in your table. So do press OK for that. So then it will recognize these fields as headers in your row at the top. And that's all you need to do. Let's close these images and make sure you close your Excel document. That is very important. So going back, let's start from here again. We're on make.powerapps.com. We can go ahead and we can choose Excel online. With Excel online, you're able to just utilize that Excel document you've just made. I'm going to choose the Excel document and I'll choose the table. It has given it a name animals. It might be table one for you if you haven't edited that. In my scenario, I've had this named as animals before, so that's why we have that. Okay, so over here, welcome to the Power App Studio. We can click skip. Okay, and over here, let's zoom in. We can see, okay, we literally have all the information from our Excel document within here. And it's very simple now, okay? We click Browse Gallery, okay? And as you can see, we have like all the fields, right? From Excel document, our worksheet. But we want to be able to see the image. So we'll click over here on Browse Gallery and we will choose the layout to be image, title, and subtitle, okay? And then from there, literally click Fields and change subtitle to be whatever you want as the subtitle. So in this scenario, we want the age the title to be the name, okay? The image, as you can see, we can't actually choose the image from our document here. So what we need to do is, if you look at elephant, for example, it says this item.name, the age, this item.age. So for image, we do this item dot image, okay? So that corresponds to the image column in our Excel document or worksheet, okay? So there you go, you've got this. Now one small thing I had in mind, I had what's called concatenate. And when I concatenate age with this item dot age, I basically show the age like that. And okay, let's press play and we can search now for a Jaguar. I can search for a brown bat. And I don't have to type the whole name. I can also search based on the age. So say I want 245. I don't want this to be the age. I want to change this to be a lower number. Let's say two. Let's update that over there. We can search for two. And as you can see, it's now updated. I think it was this one. And yeah, that's all it is. And that's literally how to make a quick power up <laughs> in like two minutes. So actually, I hope you all enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.